Guys, I want y'all to do something real quick. I want all y'all to close your eyes. Close your eyes real quick. And just imagine that you in a fucking field. You in a forest. Wherever. And you see some animals. You see, uh, what's that, a lion. You see a goat. You see... You just any any animal that you can think of. And in order for your family to eat, you gotta kill that lion. Now that lion is running all over the place. That lion might look scary. It's not easy to catch that fucking lion. I want y'all to keep this in mind. Of course it's not easy, but guess what? If you don't kill that lion, guess what you have to do? You gotta go home and tell your family how you was a little bitch. That is what you have to do. So too many of us men want to say shit is hard. Too many of us men want to point the finger. And too many of us do not want to get out of the situation that we are in. Life is not easy. Especially as a man. And I want y'all to understand this man. You are only love under conditions. So things that you can provide, tangible things that you can provide to your family, to your woman, that is when you are loved and that is when you are appreciated. You cannot be a man just living on this earth with no purpose or no sense of anything. Number one, nobody will love you. And number two, you will be forgotten about. So imagine coming home empty handed to your fucking family and you see the look on your children faces. You see the look on your woman face. Now, a lot of y'all, a lot of us can't compare to that, obviously, but we come up empty handed to our families all the time. Financially, we want to point the finger. We want to get mad at everybody else succeeding. But what the fuck is in your pockets? Oh, it's hard. You don't know my situation. I know your fucking situation. I had to sell my phone. I know what it's like to be poor. I know what it's like not to be able to afford things. I know what it's like when everybody's eating food in front of you and you haven't ate in fucking days. But guess what? When you're in that zone, when you're in that mentality, when you don't have food, it drives you to go harder. When you're in that deficit, it drives you to go harder because you know if you don't get food, you are going to die. If you don't get food, you are not going to eat. And a lot of us need to realize it's not even about us anymore. Y'all got kids. Some of y'all got a woman that you with. It's not about you anymore. Some of y'all are trying to do big things with your life. It's not about you anymore. As a man, when you are born and when you are put on this earth, you have pressure on you. The weight of the world is on your fucking shoulders. And you can either collapse like a little bitch or pick that motherfucker up. It's up to you. Because everybody has fucking problems. The world doesn't care about your problems because everybody has them. So, of course, it's going to be hard. But it's harder to stay in these hard times. Not being able to pay for shit. Seeing everybody else with food. Seeing a look on your family face when you don't have money to pay for shit. You can't buy them shoes. You can't buy them shit for Christmas. That shit hurts more. So, whenever you feel like it's too hard, whenever you want to bitch and complain and cry and moan, just look at your faces of your kids and of your woman. Because like I said, a lot of y'all come up empty handed every single day. Imagine your little boy, your son, seeing another grown ass man and saying, man, I wish that was my dad. Can you live with that shit? Because you got a fucking gut and your, your fucking bank account in the negatives and you can't do shit for your kids. You can't even run up a fucking flight of steps if you needed to. You couldn't even save your fucking son's life. Let that shit sink in if it needed to be. 
If you was in a situation where you needed to save your son, you couldn't do it because you a fat piece of shit. It's coming up empty handed every single day you wake up. And what y'all do is y'all bitch, y'all cry and complain. But guess what y'all do? Y'all stay in the same spot every single day. There's no ambition. There's no hunger. You just want people to feel bad for you. Because most likely, you didn't have mommy taking care of you your whole entire life. But mommy's not there when you got to go provide for your kids. Mommy's not there when you got to go get food back to your fucking family. When you got to put food on the fucking table. So keep that in mind. You have to do the shit. Quit looking around trying to want help. Quit looking around looking for an open hand. Because nobody's going to come and save you. And nobody's going to come and save your family. But I want to let y'all know. Um, I, wanna, I want y'all to know something. Let me take a little water break real quick. Somebody told me I got too much pride. And pride can be a bad thing sometimes. But I want y'all to know this. A lot of y'all don't have pride at all. A lot of y'all look yourselves in the mirror and are okay with what the fuck you see. But deep down inside, you not even okay. You formulated this lie in your head so you don't have to go put the work in. You formulated this lie in your head so you don't have to go get more money. But guess what? I said it's not about you, motherfucker. You feel like you don't need to work because you tired. You feel like you don't need to work, whatever. Your kids need you to work. Your wife needs you to work. Oh, I'm just, I'm going to be a fat piece of shit because I want to. It's not about you. Your kids are looking up to you every single day. And they're following everything you do. So I might have a lot of pride. My ego might be too big. But what the fuck is your pride? Where the fuck is your pride at? Because a lot of y'all are looking in your bank accounts and seeing that shit is wrong. A lot of y'all are seeing you can't do shit for your kids and knowing that shit is wrong. A lot of y'all are looking in the mirror and knowing you need to get in the fucking gym, but you never do it. Quit lying to yourself as a fucking man and provide for your fucking family. If you want a better life, you have to create that shit. But I'll never forget what my track coach told me. He said, you will get way farther in life if you're doing shit for other people. And I'm going to keep saying this, it's not all about you. Life is hard. It's hard going out there and fucking killing that lion and bringing it back to your family. But it's going to be a bit a good ass feeling when you get that shit done. When you put that lion on your fucking back and you slam it on the table and now everybody fucking eats. But I want y'all to know this. When you're going on this journey and you change your mindset, it's going to be a lot of motherfuckers starting to resent you. But just know that you need to cut those motherfuckers out of your life. Because in reality, you was putting the work in for them. It's going to be a lot of people, oh, you miss Thanksgiving. Oh, you miss Christmas. Guess what? That's the shit that comes with being a man. Sometimes you might not be able to see your kids. Sometimes you might not be able to see your wife. You might be working too much. But that's what the fuck it takes. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices like that. And like I said, if it's somebody in your life who is trying to hold you back, you need to cut them off. Because you're doing this for everybody. You have everybody on your fucking back and you need to take off running. Because if you fold... If you come up empty handed, then your whole family comes up empty handed. And you got to see their faces on Christmas morning with not shit. And Christmas is coming up. How many of y'all can get gifts for y'all fucking kids? They don't give a fuck about it if it was hard. Oh, money's running a little, a little tight. I won't be able to get you some gifts. Imagine all the little kids talking about what the fuck they got. I got an iPhone. I got new J's. I got new clothes. And you send your kid to school with shit. Send him to school with holes in his, in his fucking sh shoes. Send him to school with holes in his clothes and all this bullshit. Because of you. Because you was fucking selfish. 
understand that being a man is hard and quit crying. And like I said, you have the weight of the fucking world on your shoulders. You either going to pick that motherfucker up or you going to let it collapse you. This is the end of this video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, like the fucking video, and we out.